Hi, Papa Tom here from StratConnection.com introducing a really beautiful base here. Uh, this is a brand new uh, NOS 19, oh gee, I don't know what JD is, off the top of my head. On my website, uh, there is Fender serial numbers. I love the coordination between the aged white head painted headstock and the aged white poly that they used to have. When I used to have a Fender base, turn this hiss off. When I used to have a Fender base, this is what they used to make them out of. But the finishes were baked. And as you can see, this is brand new. And it's got the famous big big plate back Godot pickups. And you're not going to find a base with this quality. so I don't slap and I don't clap and I don't do any of that stuff. I uh, play basic Paul McCartney bass. See his lessons? E, E, B, B, E, E, D, D, A, A, E, 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 E. It's going through a line six, if you can put that in there, low down that I have up as well. Powerful amp. Reverb.com under StratConnection.com. I'm doing this at a request. Somebody wants to hear what it sounded like. It's got a nice low bottom. And then as you put the treble up. And then with the treble off, this will be the neck. camera, a handy cam camera I'm using real hard to get the bottom. On guitar I don't have a problem with because it's mid to higher higher uh, frequencies. But on the low bass it's very difficult. Sounds like the speaker is distorting and it's it's not. It's very smooth in here. Now I brought these two guys up because I just made this one and this is actually a B100 bass amp. Um, and what I did was I combined it with a B100 without the amplifier um, uh, cabinet. Let's hear how that sounds. First time checking this baby out. definitely a bottom bottom based amplifier you can't beat the line six slow down for real bottom bass and then the other uh, thing that I want to show you uh, when I get it warmed up uh, these these are transistor amplifiers and this is also a transistor but this one here the pride of the farm is the is the um,
course, you can't get no better than that. These amplifiers are not a lot of wattage. There are two, and this is a 1966. Sounds good, huh? Now, what I had done, put this on standby. What I had done was made this cabinet this has a 15 in it, and this has a 15 in it as well, and what I did, they lock in together pretty good, and what I did was I rigged direct wiring to the board on the inside and put an output here. This is an extension output. So if I take that extension output now and turn this around without jumping up all over, you see they stay pretty pretty good together stacked. They got them heavy duty runner feet. <laughs> what I want to do is uh, keep it focused on this. Now some like a 15 if I can get this one out. 15 and oops, wires <laughs> and 10s so you're able to... Now you see the sound definitely changed if you point to the gens bends. So, when you divide the ohms between the speakers, it also increases the wattage. Um, I only know this because I went to electronic school. So now when I put, plug the bottom one in again, which, you know, is not easy from this angle. Okay, you'll hear it gets louder. So it's like having a stack. B100 with two 15s, whereas the other sound was with one 15 and the two Jens Benz bass 10 inch speakers. Okay, so that's on the amplifier. I'm kind of killing three birds with two stones, one stone here. Um, I figure, well, what the heck, why not? Um, and then again, the lowdown. Connect.com 